Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this quick little update video. And what I wanted to do is uh, give you guys a heads up that there's going to be content coming on uh, being created for three playlists that have sort of been neglecting over the years. And these videos, this content is going to come at you sort of intermittently. It's going to be random. Sometimes it's going to be on sets. Uh, sometimes it's going to be you know a theme that we're going to follow right and um, what i'm going to do is basically start creating content for the three playlists that are my vision sort of my business model that i started when i kicked off my patreon page because the idea is to be able to uh, slowly have enough funds coming in from this work to be able to sustain my life to be able to pay pay my bills maintain my budget maintain my economics right and to have the freedom to be able to create all the content that i'm creating right so patreon was one step towards towards that goal right so once i kicked off the patreon page i created a playlist called my vision my business model so i'm going to start creating content for that playlist specifically sharing with you guys what i have in mind why i'm doing this the content coming up and uh, you know everything else right and some of the stuff is going to come at you hard and fast some of it is going to come at you nice and chill and and relaxed and with a more asmr slant right so heads up on that and what i'm going to do with that as well is i'm going to start creating content for two other playlists that are directly related to what i'm doing with the math content and everything else that we're creating uh, one of the playlists is education, obviously. So I'm going to start sharing with you guys uh, some of my belief regarding our current education system and where we should be going, where we are headed. I'm going to talk about some of the flaws in our education system and I'm going to talk about some of the solutions to our current, really, it's, it's a disaster, right? Crisis. So some of these things will be anecdotes. Some of, the, some of them will just be stories. Some of them will be stories that students have shared with me some of them will be um, some of the things that have brought me to this place and time may, may they be inspirations may they be circumstances may they be my philosophy my politics my economics what I think about our society right so for that playlist education there's going to be a whole bunch of random stuff being uploaded and i've already laid out a whole bunch of stuff with that and some of that stuff is going to link up with uh, my vision uh sort of the the playlist i'm going to dedicate for doing more of the funding to be able to get myself to a level where i can budget myself right and still have the freedom to create this content the third playlist that i'm gonna start creating more content with and it's the third one that I've neglected uh, to a certain degree over the years, which I've had a lot of requests for people, from people to be a, to create more content like this. And that third playlist is giving you my advice, uh, some of my experiences, some of the things I've learned, hard lessons learned, soft lessons learned, easy lessons learned, right? And right now there are uh, only two videos on there okay and um and like the education stuff some of the stuff is going to come at you in short form they may be very quick little videos maybe you know a couple of minutes long and some of them will be long uh sort of connecting up a whole bunch of stuff that i've learned over the years okay and as you can guess advice education my vision my business model all those three fit under one umbrella because it's more a sort of a personal take of what I've learned up to this point in my life what uh, I think some of the problems with our society are with our personal uh, lifestyles are and some of the solutions to our personal lifestyle some of the problems that we encounter some of the obstacles in our current society or some of the obstacles all of us will face right so you know long-winded uh, update regarding these three playlists I'm gonna start creating
content some of it will be connected some of it will be in set some of it will be solo some of the content will be linked in all these three videos some of them will only go on two some of them will just be specifically in one of these playlists right but they will all sort of be connected but i'm going to try to sort of organize them in a way where they're not interfering with each other they're complementing each other i don't want uh discrepancies with the uh with the message that i'm sharing right so a heads up there's going to be content coming on for the following three playlists my vision education and advice um, and what i want to do is create another playlist that um, i will continue to create content for slowly over time but i won't be linking anything that i'm making these three playlists in that other playlist and that playlist is how to study because i really want that playlist to specifically focus on people who are uh, trying to learn content whatever it is may they be in school on a personal level and stuff like this so um, some of the content in how to study is going to be related to these three three playlists but i'm not going to overlap the content there with the content here okay uh, that's regarding the updates uh for the playlist more on a i guess business front um, because this is sort of geared towards uh, sharing more information sharing my personal perspective and trying to build more of a or more support because the support i have right now on patreon is fantastic and i thank everyone who's supporting me through patreon but create more traffic through patreon because i do need uh, a certain amount of funds to be able to maintain my life and to be able to have the freedom to create this content and to put together packages that we plan on putting together and uh, so far so so good you know I've I've spent a lot of time creating a lot of content and it's just I think it's about time that I dedicated some of the some of that time towards the fundraising aspect of this project right of this uh, lifelong project for me anyway okay and again if you if you like the content that you see if you like if you like what I'm creating uh, one of the best ways to support me is through patreon through liking through sharing for sure uh, direct support 100% direct donations and whatever else right um, but I do sort of do need to kick this up to a level to be able to kick it into the next phase and uh, on the lighter side aside from the business um, I thought I'd share you share with you um, some of the music that I've been uh, sampling during the spring and summer of this year and uh, the one reason I'm doing this is because I haven't talked about music for a while so I thought this was a good opportunity to uh, give you guys a sort of a little music update and um, what I do is um, basically we're coming towards the end of summer and once the end of summer hits in my area the rainy season starts and uh, there's live less live events that I get to participate in right I get to go to and in the spring and summer in the west coast of Canada and anyway, many places I'm assuming uh, it's sort of festival season so I've been I've gone to a couple of festivals and I've checked out a few of the DJs um, a few of the some of the music that has come through live bands as well that has come come through my area right and i think that's uh, the same with everyone around the world i think what happens is a lot of musicians during the spring and summer because they're when they're attending festivals they get to play a lot of different venues and you know since they're at a festival they end up playing certain venues in certain towns that they're nearby right so i'm lucky i've you know, I had the opportunity to go to two festivals this year and I've had the opportunity to check out uh, some shows, live events. So I thought I'd uh, let you know, I broke, down, broke this down into uh, three categories. One of them um, is DJs that I've watched live that I thought were put on amazing shows. Um, one of them is bands, live bands. And another one is, uh, I'm just gonna let you know what I've been listening to on my little MP3 player that I've had 
for a number of years. It's only four gigs, so I rotate the music a fair bit. There's a couple of stuff that stays on there on a permanent basis that has from the beginning and it will continue to be on there. But I'm gonna let you know what I've been listening to, okay? As far as um, live shows, live music that I've gone to, uh, first let's talk about the DJs. And one thing I'm gonna mention regarding the music I've seen live uh, in the last few months is that uh, is that, that I didn't I haven't seen I haven't encountered this before, but no matter if it was uh, DJs or live bands, right, whatever genre it was, there's a huge metal overtone to the music I've seen live, which I found absolutely fantastic because uh, if you know you know if you were following my work, you know that I love my metal, right? I, uh, I, metal is one of my first loves when it comes to music metal and electronic music right so um keep this in mind everything that i've seen there's a huge metal tone in the shows that i've seen more than 50 percent of the shows that i saw there was a huge metal underlaying and there's a lot of metal being shared um, okay as far as live djs that i've seen that i that I would recommend seeing because they put on amazing live performances. I've seen some other um, others as well and have cut back the list to to these selections. Okay. Uh, one of them, the first, and these are DJs first, right? So first DJ would be Deadbeat, okay? And he's a Canadian artist that's made his home in uh, Berlin. And uh, just a little quote um, from, uh, you know, one of the places that I found a description of him for is um, Deadbeat is Scott Mon Monteith, a Canadian musician, sound designer, and musical technology educator based in Berlin. Okay, and I was lucky enough to see two of his performances. One of them, uh, one thing that happens in the summer in my area, um, the city together with you know municipalities and stuff like this, they put on live shows in the parks and stuff like this because there's more sunshine. So I had the for you know, I was fortunate enough to see two of his sets. One of them was during the day when he was playing live in a park, which was a live mixed ambient set, and he did an amazing job. And the other one was a set that he did later on in the evening at a club, and that was an amazing set as well. It was more, more deep house and. Um, beautiful beautiful sound that he put together okay so that beat would be one uh, another one is dj generic and he's a local dj in my area in the west coast of canada and his set was absolutely fantastic i saw him on a festival at a silent disco and silent disco was basically was um the festival was at a in a in a city in a small town where they have noise violation um, um, bylaws right so they can't play loud music after a certain time so after a certain time what they did they had three different DJs going right and they you could get red phone headphones and you put on your headphones and you could flip the channels and the headphones lit up uh, with different colors depending on which DJs you were listening to right and one of the DJs that I listened to was DJ Generic, and his music was absolutely brilliant. It was very unique, very different than a lot of the well, all the other DJs I was listening to. And he, his his uh, transition from uh, one uh, certain beast to another beast was basically sort of a repetition of of a soft voice, a female voice, going a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a little bit of this and a little bit of that right and i think it did that three times and then you would you with listening to the other djs at this festival you would expect some kind of house or trance or some break beats or drum and bass or something to kick in but his music that it was kicking in was trippy electronic that was very reminiscent to me as soon as I heard it, it was like, wow, like um, there's a Japanese artist. If you know old school electronic music, there's a Japanese artist called Tomita. And Tomita was, you know, the first electronic music that I got exposed to in the 70s, right? And it was very reminiscent to what Tomita was doing. Not in the, not in the same style, but in the uniqueness of it, right? And it was brilliant. I don't know. I don't think he does this, this type of music every time, but... 
I loved it. It was fantastic. Okay, and uh, one thing I'll mention, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, that I'll provide links to all these DJs and the three playlists that I talked about uh, in the description of this video. Okay, another uh, DJ that I saw was uh, uh, Slink. Okay. And he was fantastic and he was just pure fun and he's a local DJ as well and he his stuff had a huge metal overtone to it there was a there was a lot of metal music that was mixing in his uh, mixing in his sets and I loved it and from the crowd the crowd was just absolutely loving it okay um, very cool sound um, another person that I saw was Closey, and she's a French uh, DJ. Let me just uh, read this one little thing that I um, wrote out. Um, oh, I didn't write the quote, but he's a French music producer, and her presence on stage was absolutely fantastic. It was a lot of fun, and she built up the music slowly, and it just became epic and epic. It was, it was a great sound and a great dance. Uh, uh, it it got you it got you it got you dancing right it got you jiggling it got you moving right it was fantastic great performance and she's actually coming into town in my area next month as well so I'm gonna check her out at a at a club as well and another person that I saw that I had seen in the early two thousands early yeah around early two thousands I believe and I was I really wanted to check him out because I hadn't really been following his work for. I guess for the last 15 years or so, I hadn't seen him, uh, seen him, right? And for the last 15, 12 years, I really hadn't been following his work, but I saw him, I was lucky enough to see him in the early 2000s at a club in Vancouver, and that was Z Trip. And man, the guy is still kicking it, he's brilliant, right? He's the guy, the scratches he was doing, the breaks he was doing, the the selection of music he was, he was using, uh, for his set was absolutely fantastic i was very happy to see that uh he was still extremely relevant and extremely brilliant and loving what he was doing right um and i read up uh, his wiki page i hadn't looked him up for a long time and i read up his wiki page and the amount of people that is produced music for and with is absolutely fantastic so that's um you know five djs that i saw that five of five djs that i saw this spring and summer that I would highly recommend um seeing they were definitely cream of the crop for me anyway um everybody might not agree i'm pretty sure other people who would pick some of the other but other djs that i saw this year uh this season but uh, those are the five that stood out for me okay as far as live bands go um i got four recommendations here for you okay um, one of them absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, they're a vancouver based band and i've been meaning to see them multiple times but for some reason i've never had the opportunity to go see them and this band i would go see again and again and again okay and it's five alarm funk and wow 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 funky beats with a serious metal overtone this performance anyway serious metal overtone that just got you rolling right there's people body surfing slamming and it was absolutely fantastic and it's just pure funk right it's very percussion uh, centric right the main person is a drummer in the middle and he's got a bongo bongos or congos going on the side or percussion going on the side a lot of trumpets a lot of trumpets all the bands um yeah actually three of the four bands had a lot of trumpets a lot of horns in them and five alarm fun was absolutely brilliant um and let me read you this two little sentences i guess that i copied and pasted i just want to read you this right uh this is their description of their music hot sweaty dance floors with feet stomping and everybody moving grooves for days monster horns crushing percussions and shredding psych rock guitars like really they should add a little thing in there saying with a metal overtone right and the next uh, sentence says 
These are among the elements that make up the Five Alarm Funk experience. The Vancouver bass band is eight men strong and over a decade deep into a career that has seen it release five acclaimed albums and burn up stages across across the country on six national tours right fantastic fantastic if you get a chance go see them okay uh, the other band or producer i guess is bonobo uh, i just saw him a couple of days ago uh, i loved at listened to their music a long time ago or his music a long time ago I always thought Bonobo was a group but I looked it up it looks like it's uh, uh, let me read the sentence Simon Greenborn uh, 30th March 1976 known by his stage name Bonobo is a British musician right producer and DJ based in Los Angeles so it's British based in Los Angeles but I always thought Bonobo was a group right uh, but he was on stage with a band and a singer and uh, it was fantastic it's uh, like phenomenal musicians you know varying degrees of style like, that that you get exposed to with his music and he had a nice chill per, you know this show was extremely chill very ambient right very introspective um, I would definitely go see Bonobo again it was fantastic music fantastic music right um, the other band uh, is a smaller band and these guys are based in new york that i saw uh, i saw here again at a festival and uh, these guys are heavy brass heavy drums just pure pounding boom 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 right it's sort of a marching band dance marching band style and this band is too many zoos okay very much a five alarm funk band style of music but on a smaller scale and beautiful right i checked out some of their music online um, and i really like what i the videos that i saw and the music that i saw online i hope they keep on growing and they get a stronger following right and uh, the third band that i saw he's a dj with a live band performance right so it's a dj live band performance and again a lot of horns um and the band is called astral color okay uh they're sort of recording live electronic sort of conducting sort of style and uh, let me read you the description that you know they have themselves uh astral color perform and record live electronic music recalling the chemical brothers air and saint germain the band plays on the edges of funky house Belleric. Uh, breakbeat and ambient the band the band formed in 2015 and are based in victoria bc so it's where i am right now my home territory right and i'll definitely go see them again and their music their videos online i really liked uh, their live shows started a little rough uh, i think they were mixing live so they were uh, they had you know the first 15 minutes or so wasn't grooving as good as the the online stuff but then they were able to mix it properly where the last half an hour 40 minutes of the show it was only our shows that um, i saw for some of these guys and uh, the last three quarters of the show was absolutely brilliant brilliant sound heavy and just layered right it was beautiful mix beautiful mix of music right so those are five bands that i saw um, that i really loved okay and for those of you who've um, you know you know one thing i've haven't been able to check out this season yet is hip-hop and i've been getting my hip-hop kick uh through my mp3 player okay and uh, let me tell you what i've been looping uh, lately for the last two months right uh one of them is nujabas nujabas never leaves my mp3 player okay uh sometimes i don't listen to it well, listen to it for a while but whenever the urge kicks in i listen to it and the other two people i've been listening to is one of them that i've been hasn't left this mp3 player for a couple of years now is rocco marciano okay i had his whole this discography in here and he's produced a ton of work a lot of music some of it i really love some of it i didn't like too much so what i decided to do is i while i had his whole discography here with nujabas uh a few months ago i think about a seven months ago or so i reduced 
I took that down to one album, okay? And that album I've been looping, I'm not tired of it yet, and I plan on putting on some of the other albums as well, see which ones I like the most. But the one I've been looping on, Rocco Mar Marciano, for the last, I guess, three months, really, three to four months, is Mark Burke from 2010, and it's his debut album. It's absolutely brilliant, fantastic artist, fantastic artist. Um, really, the guy blows away most of pop artists that I've listened to for the last few years, okay? And the other, uh, the other hip hop that I've been looping on here is Lord Finesse, and it's the funky technician uh, from 1990 with uh, DJ Mike Smooth, okay? And, phew, fantastic, one of the greatest hip hop albums ever, right? It's on the same level as, uh, you know, the first album was Big Pun and uh, many others, right? Many others. This this album is fantastic, right? Lord Finesse, Funky Technician. I've been only looping this for about a month and a half, two months now, and I've got the other the other albums he's put on, and I've listened to them once, and I decided to loop this one first before I had start looping some of the other ones. Okay, and that's my. Uh, music that I've been sampling for the last few months. I thought I'd share that with you guys uh, in this update video as well, okay? Um, it shouldn't be all business. It should be a lot of music as well, right? There should be a lot of other things as well, a lot of readings, books, and all that jazz. And um, I guess one other update I'll give you guys since it was related, since we're here right now, is related to uh, one of the other videos I put out recently uh, regarding readings. Um, I'm about a quarter of the way or a third of the way into Silver Thorn, the Rift War, Rift War saga with uh, Feist. Uh, and wow, like seriously, I cannot believe this guy kicked it up to another level, right? Like, fantastic. Okay. And that's uh, my little, I guess, as for me, it goes short little update video. Um, and again, if you support this work, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content that's being created, and if you do have the means, uh, one of the best ways to support me is through Patreon. And, um, and slowly over time, we'll, uh, I'll definitely kick this into full-time mode. And just uh, another heads up, uh, some of the videos coming out for the next month or so, it's going to be a little bit sparse because... Uh, the school years kicked in so i have to pay for a bit of attention at the beginning with my students uh for this year for the school year kicking in but once i get into the groove and get my schedule going uh, i'm gonna get back into the rhythm of uh, producing more content on a more regular basis and i'm gonna use this time to lay out a few whole bunch of videos that uh, we will be talking about some of them obviously related to the content that i'm going to create for the three additional videos, uh, my vision, education, and advice, and definitely some stuff uh, regarding mathematics. And then once we get into the groove, we'll get back into comic book readings. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.